What the? No. Excuse me. I don't mean to scare you, but I need help bad. What's the matter? Are you hurt? My stomach. It's killing me all of a sudden. Uh, should I call an ambulance? No, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money, please. Just go get more Boshi Sensei. Is he come some kind of doctor? Yeah, he should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through the manhole in the children's park. Oh, right. Stay put a minute. I'll we'll understand if you tell him Kondo is asking for him, please. Hurry. Why would a doctor be hanging around in the sewers? Well, I guess that's not what really matters here. So. He just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one got hurt. Whoops. You know, these people would probably make a pretty damn good uh, Persona game if they got hired to make one as well. Like, they're running around the world and interacting with people. It's got a lot of same overtones, just completely different execution. Because you're locked to generally one fixed area, a lot of characters to work with and interact with, number of side quests. Oh. Really? Ow. Well, fine. You got a baseball bat. I got a baseball bat, too. Excuse me, Amano. Oh, sorry, random other guy. Nice. That was one hell of a war cry. <laughs> Didn't do you any good. I guess we might as well just chug down that toughness Z. Let's see. Might be worth getting that fridge move, uh, fridge upgrade at some point, but still. Let's see. I'm assuming they're on the wrong side, or is it? Here? Oh, it's here. This is not a children's park, is it? It doesn't. It certainly doesn't look like it. That did not look like a graceful dismount. I would have fallen on my face had I done that. On the topic of ladders, sort of. When I was a kid, I used to live in Los Alamos, New Mexico, which is near a bunch of, um... I don't even remember what Indian tribe it was. Native American tribe, sorry. Um... But they had these big wooden ladders that went up into their, their, like, they built their, their towns in cliff sides and hillsides and stuff. And it was wild, it was super cool, and it was fun to explore. But you had to go up and down these, like, 30 foot long ladders, and as, like, a, a seven year old, those rungs were thicker than, like, I could grip. And I was always so terrified that I was going to fall, and I'm shocked I never did, because it was wildly unsafe. I've never really liked going up ladders since, because boy, just like... Yeah, one slip and you're in trouble. Excuse me. Hey, you Muraboshi sensei mm -hmm. I am? Who might you be? Yagami. I'm Yagami. Doesn't ring a bell, so what do you want? Mm. Are they supposed to tell this guy again? <laughs> the condor has left the nest. Homeboy's calling for you. Muraboshi's... No. There's this homeless guy. Goes by Kondo. You know him? He was asking for your help just now. What? Kondo was? Yeah. He said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Public Park 3. Uh, hey! But yeah, as an adult, I kind of want to go back so I can properly appreciate it without all of the fear. Because that place was just really cool. Ugh, I made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. Did you eat something strange again? Ah, uh, let me think. Well, I did some dumpster diving at the Pink Street yesterday. I knew I tasted something fishy. Crying out loud. <laughs> Oops, looks like Kondo's son's done it again. Yakumi-san, wasn't it? Yes. Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach. 
Excuse me. No worries, but I gotta ask, are you actually a doctor? Yeah, or at least I was, but that's all in the past. Moriboshi Sensei used to be a doctor at this huge medical university. He's been down in the dumps since he lost his chance to become a professor, so he started helping out Sata instead. You talk too much, Kondo-san. Oopsie daisy, my bad. As for you, Yakimi-san, there's something for your trouble, I know it isn't much. You now get treated by Moroboshi and buy medical kits from him as well. I appreciate I appreciate it either way. Well then, I'll be off now. Thanks for helping out, Yagami-san. I'll see you around. That dialogue goes by a little fast. <laughs> that weird head twitch. Okay, so there's the doctor that we have access to now. Dumpster diving on Pink Street thing was definitely an innuendo. Oh yeah. He got a good taste of crab nipple from that. Bike of justice! Damn! That damage upgrade is ruining thugs. What a waste. Look at that neat pile of dudes. And now there is only one. And now he's gone too. We don't kill people. They just e stop existing. Gotta love the combat in this game. It is ridiculous. Oh, hi. Come on. Oh, come on! That was my sign. Can I pick this one up? Nope. Code, code of shame. Ooh, they had 8,000 yen for me. That's 80 bucks. That's like fifth of a PlayStation, man. Well, <laughs> he did a flip. We killing people makes them dead. We don't kill people. We only put them to sleep forever. Iron plate. Bike of justice. Oh. God damn. There we go. What a waste. What? Oh god. He hit the curb. That would crack open a skull. We just like look over and Genda's just there. Gives Yagami a thumbs up. Why not? Well, look what the cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. Hey, side quests. Wow, that pays relatively well. So, we now actually have side quest job, uh, side quest jobs and so on and so forth. So, Noriko Taguchi, 80,000 yen, 150 SP. My name is Noriko Taguchi. My husband has started going out frequently and recent, uh, frequently recently, and I want to know where he's going. Hard to imagine he's cheating on me, but could you investigate? Thank you. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh yeah, never told Genda-sensei. I'm still looking for the mole. Yeah? That's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se. 
But the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hammer is covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Really? Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori. Two of my favorite people in the world. I want to say Hattori is probably the mole. He's got to be the mole. I mean, he's so creepy. I'm leaving that there as my, like, wild guess. And we'll just see if it goes. I... For ages, I've just tried to avoid predicting the plot. But, like... We might as well just throw some wild guesses out, and occasionally I'll be right. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. Oh, don't worry about that, Shintani-sensei. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. But yeah, after the whole God of War and Xenoblade Chronicles X and a couple other things, like... I don't know. What was he doing here? Anyway, I meet, need to meet with the client. Back to the old office. Uh, but yeah, after, after various other games, I... Where I've, like, called too much, I'm trying to stay away from, like, plot prediction, predictions. Oh, sweet. More dudes. Sounds about right. I like it how they all, like... <laughs> oh, photo finish. I like it how they all like to do that, like, uh, battle cry. And then it really doesn't pan out for them that well at all. It's satisfying. Chain's freaking out. Oh, I haven't been paying attention. At all. I should pay attention to the chain when I'm beating, beating the tar out of people. Excuse me. Nope. Wrong way. Sorry. Excuse me. Coming through. Going home. Yeah, we still haven't run into the... It's a... Uh, hi. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, hello. You hear about the job, ma'am? Yes. I'm N Norko Taguchi. You came highly recommended by Genda Sensei. I'm Yagami. So I do have kept you waiting. Here. I'll get the door. So yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to investigate your, if your husband's cheating on you or not, correct? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. Very well. Can you tell me the whole story? Yes. You see, my husband and I own a cafe on Taihei Boulevard called Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he's always kept to himself. We've been married 40 years, I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. Sounds like you two have a great marriage. I'd usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there have always been slow days where he would have to hit the pachinko slots or go see a movie. But lately, this has become an almost everyday occurrence. But what leads you to believe he's cheating on you? Perhaps he's simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at first too. One day I stopped at the pachinko parlor he said he'd be at, and I didn't see him anywhere. And you're sure you're at the right place? 
The city has quite a few pachinko par parlors. If it had only been once, I might not be so sure. But I assure you, I've been thorough. I checked in several times now, and I've never found him there once. I see. Sounds like you've done your homework then. Sorry for giving you the third degree there. Yagami-san, I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yes, I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that, but I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 80,000 yen in on my request. Is that sufficient? Of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe almost every day now. He even told me that he's been wanting to see a new movie that just came out. Alright, that should make it simple enough to tail him when he leaves. Please do. Lady's shop is called Heavy Coffee and it's on Taihei Boulevard. Boulevard. Guess I'll check it out. Yeah, it's a shame the side quests aren't voice acted, but I'm not surprised by it. That always takes extra effort, and you know what? I don't know. I guess it's part of the reason why I'm always a proponent of slightly lesser known voice actors. Because they tend not to sound like, I don't know, freaking everybody else. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's unfair of me to be ki kind of critical of just hearing the same voice actors over and over again. I mean, like, we haven't even run into Matt Mercer yet, and I know he's in this game. And he's, like, super prolific. And that way, yeah, y they might not cost as much as, like, the really high-profile ones. Then maybe, yeah, you can actually voice act the side quests. Not that it really matters for this one. This is heavy coffee. Hmm. It must be my client's husband. Let's see where he goes. This is so cartoony. Like, just the stop, turn around, and look as my character is crouching behind a car. Like, if I were that suspicious as being followed. I'd probably try and like throw them off, go into a business, do all sorts of things. I don't know. Where is he going? What are you up to, dude? Taking a photo of the sky? Could also be a selfie. Now that would be a cool plot twist if the guy was just really obsessed about taking photos of like the upper halves of buildings for no goddamn reason. That would be satisfying. I don't know. I I realize that a lot of these are going to be cheaters or like doing something illegal, but I'd love it if almost every single one of them was actually a good person and they were just doing something completely off the walls. Like if for whatever reason this guy developed an unhealthy obsession with seagulls and is just walking around the city photographing seagulls. And that, that is just his, his modus operandi.
Because that would be amazing. Like the entire the entirety of it is just like everybody's weirdly suspicious of each other and everybody else is doing something low-key embarrassing that like yeah sure you really wouldn't want your um your spouse to know about because like yeah if i if i developed a weird obsession with seagulls i think shell would eventually be like okay wander you gotta Sorry, things are happening. But I got the point across. A woman. Not looking positive. <sighs> She's caked in makeup, though. Must be really trying to hide her age. Red brick again, maybe. That works. Ah. They're moving. Red brick, huh? Gotta be the red brick hotel. Alright, I'm gonna need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch them entering the hotel? Here? Or here? No, maybe here? I should follow them and get into pos a position that'll give me a clean shot. Get the full scoop. In photo missions, your goal is to investigate certain incidents and capture the decisive moment on camera. Take a picture that ticks off all of the checkboxes on the right side of the screen. Be careful, if you take a picture without satisfying all the conditions, it will result in game over. Therefore, check your surroundings and look the best possible camera angle that allows you to pick, take a picture that it satisfies all the criteria. You won't be able to take a picture until you fulfill at least one condition. Get the best shot to gain a bonus. Top of taking off all the checkboxes, if you capture a photo that perfectly meets the client's demands, you'll gain some SP as a bonus. Consider the clients carefully and capture that perfect picture. Okay, husband, home wrecker, hotel sign, moment of entering the hotel. It's gotta be his face. I'm a little disappointed. I think that's just mainly because cheating is just, like, dismal. Now. Oh. What do you call this evidence of infidelity, huh? Shit, they're coming this way. Damn it. Where does this put me back? Okay, if I retry, does it put me back at the beginning of the case or photo moment? Hopefully it's photo moment because uh, I don't have I don't want to redo the whole thing. You know, okay, good. Another game that these people would be able to do really well would actually be Dead Rising. I, I bet they'd be able to make an amazing Dead Rising game. Because the combat system's already 90% of the way there. Which one's Dead Rising? The Capcom goofy, uh... The really goofy zombie action RPG. With the com combinable weapons and, um... Frank West. I've covered wars, you know. Or whatever. I don't actually know what he sounds like. I, okay, I have the perk that's supposed to make it, that is really fiddly for no goddamn reason.
Yeah, wait for the fourth check mark to appear. So the thing is, I've got a uh, I've got a skill that makes it so my controller vibrates when you're supposed to take the photo. I thought. I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, I know. Look for the check marks, but like, contr I, I picked up the perks specifically so the controller would vibrate. <laughs> See, was it the second one that turned the zombies into a game show? Yeah. Except for it was only a game show for like a bit. Damn it! Shit, I blew it. What do you mean, not him? Sure. I honestly don't care too much about the difficulty. If the combat gets harder, I'd actually have to turn it down anyway, because it's a little rough on my hands. By another photo skill. I actually have to quit out of the mission to do so. His face is covered in the last second. That sucks. I don't know. I'm mostly here for the story and the ridiculous. I'm not actually here for this game being difficult. Everybody is just plowing through them, and they get suspicious of me. Okay, let's do this again. I'm pretty- I'm 99% certain turning on the, uh, difficulty- or turning up the difficulty changes nothing. It's not- what are you doing? Uh... Well, that works. <laughs> I like it how everybody goes into slow-mo. So we just, like, zoop around real fast to take a photo. I'm fine with this. Now to figure out who he's seeing. Guess I'll wait till they, uh, they come out of the hotel. Finally, not bad for your age, you two. Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. Yeah, nice of them to uh, freeze time as you line up the perfect shot. Are we just round two? God, we are such a creeper. I'm kind of surprised that he, I need... Oh, right. She asked for me to, um... For me to figure out who this woman is. Where... Technically, Yaka said, "No, we're not. We're a private. E we are a private eye, loosely affiliated with like some Yakuza people." It is very forgiving on easy mode, but that's okay. I like forgiving. There are some games I will play on harder difficulties. 
Usually because they're just baseline hard games to begin with. I think I like roguelikes. Where the concept of failure, yeah, you have to start from the very beginning. <laughs> what the? Lady, chill the- what are you doing? Still on easy mode or go back to regular? I'm still on easy. I can't change the difficulty until I'm done with this mission. I'm not honestly sure if I'm going to change it. Just because... So one of the other reasons why I kind of like easy modes is easy mode lets me do more ridiculous nonsense. Like I can really cheese fights. On a really easy difficulty. I mean, she isn't even getting suspicious at all that I'm this close to her. She just walked past me and I've just been like tailing her this entire time. I'm really curious like how forgiving easy mode is. <laughs> the answer is <laughs> very, very forgiving. <laughs> She's just shoving that one lady along. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't know about you, but like, I feel like I'm going to be able to do a lot more beautiful magic on, on the lower difficulties. <laughs> God, I should probably play... Oh shit. <laughs> I should probably play Metal Gear Solid 5 at some point. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, shoot. <laughs> oh boy uh, Oh, we're done That was the end of it <laughs> This is back at heavy coffee. What the hell? Could it be? Guess it doesn't matter. Pictures should be enough for the client. Oh my god. Did the lady? Did Noriko just like doll herself up? Oh, that would be beautiful, and she just tricked us into taking candid photos. Either that or it's a waitress, but I want to bet it's Noriko. Yagami-san, have you found anything out? Yes, I'd like to go over my findings. Would you mind stopping by the office? Of course. 
I'll be right there. See you soon then. All right, I'll meet her back at the office. I'm really hoping it turns out that she just dolls herself up for that. Because he did make a comment about the age. In the very beginning. Based on the evidence, I think it's safe to say with almost full certainty that your husband is cheating. I'm sorry. I see. I'm sorry. Was there more, Yagami-san? Yes. Regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? Th that's... Am I correct in assuming she's the owner of Kasho Zoku, the bar above heavy coffee? Ah. Yes, you're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I had no idea he was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool to have not seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Like I said, sometime, sometimes these kinds of details are best left undiscovered. Your husband is seeing your neighbor. That much is true. And now the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful about how you wield it, okay? Thank you, Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know it. I think I'll file for divorce. I see. I'm glad, though. I'm glad to know, rather than to spend the rest of my life as an ignorant clod. Thank you for being th so thorough. Just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> ah, no thank you. I don't need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. This one ended up right where it started. Sometimes it really is the darkest under the lamppost. You can now accept a request from Yagami Detective Agency and get a law office. Check the bulletin board in Yagami's office. Hey, that's convenient. Okay, detective's main business. Various requests that Yagami handles are referred to as side cases. Side cases can be accepted at the Yagami Detective Agency, bartender in the Genda Law Office. Uh, oh, so we gotta go talk to Masuda. Additionally, there will be many times where you... Ah, sorry. Encounter someone on the street, and a side case will open up from there. Once you complete a side case, you'll obtain money, SP, and items. The amount of side cases Yagami can tackle increases as his reputation grows. You can raise Yagami's reputation by deepening his friendships with the locals. Note that some clients will only show up if you you uh show up to become your friend after you solve their requests. Yay, money! I actually have a thousand dollars. I'm rich. You now play pinball in your office. Still haven't heard back. So we got some other things. Fun never stops. Oh. Some DLC items are coming your way to enhance the judgment experience. Stay tuned for details. Can be obtained from the drop box just outside Yagami Yagami's office. I wonder if the Western version just has all the has all of it. That'd certainly be nice. Okay, so let's grab double quick step. And then Let's grab Quick Step Cancel, too. I'd like to pick up Dodge Roll. But I figured we'd get these two first. That way I can... That way I can, uh... Let's see, DLC items. No, it doesn't look like they're here yet. Well, I guess we'll do some pinball. Play some pinball. Play some pinball. I have never actually played pinball pinball for very long. Ah, uh, no, I take it back. I had Pokemon Pinball. Which was fun. But made with Unity. But I uh, hi. Okay. Left flipper, right fit flipper, weak bump, ugly perspective. Pause quick. Bump. Shooter. Oh, uh, it's been a while. A double check counter escape. Yeah, I'll check it later. Um. Hi. Bump for multi ball. A warning. Well, that's gone.
Oh, I see. I can bump it out. Well. I don't really know how to play pinball. I just going to flip a bunch. And then I'm probably going to lose, but that's okay. Eh, didn't work. Oh, no. Oh, oh, never mind, that's fine. Okay. This isn't half bad, honestly. I still don't think I play a whole lot of pinball on my own. Uh, there we go. I have no idea what warnings... There are. Collect kickbacks. Okay. I'm doing better than I was expecting. Considering I was pure garbage hit. Eh. Screwed that one up. And screwed that one up. Well. I thought I was doing alright. And then I wasn't. I didn't even have to do shit there. Game over. Well, that's fine. Let's leave. Yeah, if you bump the table too much, it thinks you're trying to cheat and penalizes. Interesting. Yeah. I... I don't know. Pinball is just one of those things that I've... I never... I was too young for it, I think, and I've just never been in a position to enjoy it. It's also like, there's a lot of points where I just feel kind of helpless, so I'm like, eh. There were options for pinball. Maybe I'll take another look at it at some point, but it's just... It's by far just not my kind of pastime. Sure, maybe if I'm at a bar with pinball, with like people, and we're like all kind of bad at it, okay, I could, I could see that being kind of fun. But like me being on my own here in front of you guys, I'll just take a look at it once, prove that I'm garbage at it, and then move on. Because, I don't know. That's all, all I can do. Is pinball still built into Windows, or have they gotten rid of that? I don't even get SP for that. That's mildly disappointing. Not that big of a deal, but still. Okay, I gotta save. Yeah, so how long have I been playing this for? Yeah, so it took me four and a half hours to beat uh, chapter one. That's not bad. So that does mean that this is like a 40, 50 hour game plus side content. Ugh. <laughs> oh God, that's gonna take a while, but that's fine.